Morning YouTube, I'm Chucky2009 and today we're going to be sticking a brand new jack on my old army trailer that I just bought. One lesson I've learned is that you never ever want to cheap out when you buy, especially a trailer jack, really any kind of jack. I bought this one here which is a uh, Bulldog brand jack. It was only a little less than 10 bucks actually more than the off brand version and you know who wants to drop an extra 10 bucks on something when the other one will probably do just fine. But as someone who's replaced many a trailer jack and seen what happens when they fail and how big of a pain in the rear end it is to the owner of the trailer, it's pretty cheap insurance and this one is noticeably more stout. And here we go. So once the machine roared to life, I just went ahead and I turned down this amperage knob to about 95 amps or so because I decided I want to weld this with some 332nd inch 7018 and then I attached our ground clamp after removing a little bit of paint and just like that we were off and running. Now I will say that the welding aspect of this project went really well and I only got kind of a lot further than I should have before I made a uh, trial run of this jack just to make sure we weren't going to have any issues with it. And then I decided, you know, it'd probably be fine if I just welded this thing on in three positions because it's got that little square backing plate there. But, you know, I don't really like to do things halfway, especially when there's any kind of weight that's going to be placed upon them. So I decided it was worthwhile to climb underneath this thing and do a little bit of overhead welding. And then I removed the manual, which I probably technically should have read before I welded that in place. And then I just uh, started cranking down on this jack, and it works great, as you can see here. So, like I said, random uh, shorter video, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Project was a great success. Have fun. Stay safe.